Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over another type of iterable, a map. Maps are a little bit different in that they use a key and a value. So if we, the type is map, we declare the variable and we initialize it. The key is always before a colon and afterwards it is a value and each object is separated by a comma, okay? So we run it and here is we, we get this. So the three here would be the key and the map, I'm sorry, the value would be the true. And notice it could be, the key could be anything and the value could be anything also. So there's an integer, there's a um, bool, there's a bool for the key and then a string for the value. There's no real limitations in terms of what you can do here. The only, I guess, limitation, um, I'll take that back, um, was that each key has to be unique. Values do not have to be unique. Why is that? Well, when you think about it, how do you access this, access this information? You do not access it like a, um, a list where you basically put one right here. So A uh, brackets one, this will give you a null. Because, because what this is actually asking is access the map A and the value with the key of one. There is no key of one, therefore it gives you a null. What if you put a three? So here's a three right here. Map A, the value with the key of three, it should be true, right? So you can access the values by going after the keys. And that's in, that's how it is. So. Um, the best way I could think of it, like if you have a map of information, you would say name, first name right here, last name, and then there would be another value, and there are uh, address, and so you, you can have a lot of information labeling the key and then giving it a value. Notice this value is actually a list. What else can you actually do with this? Well, if we use our methods, we could say, what is the length, right? So what's that going to be? There's going to be one, two, three objects, right? So each one's separated by a comma, so length should be three. And what else? Um, let's say we can list all of the keys. We could list all of the values, too. But again, we're not separating them out themselves, okay? So we're not accessing this particular value itself. We're just listing all of them. But if we want to get the particular value for for any key, we have to use the key. Um, and we can do all of these things. We can add more, play around with it a little bit. It's uh, also we could clear it. Remember, some of these are void because by clearing it, it just clears the map. It does not actually return any value. Same thing with add. Um, and that's pretty much it. Add all. So if we add, wanted to add so a dot add all. So that would be 1, 22, 2, 88. We could do something like that. It would just add it on afterwards right here and right here. Remember, always the curly brackets. Now, by the way, a few other things. What if you have a list of maps? So in other words, I would say list, list of maps. That's the name of my variable, okay? And I'm going to say 1, 2, no, 1, number, 2, letters, true, true, false, false, one, 
one, two, two. Okay, so we have a list of a list of maps right here. Okay, so what uh, what is a list of maps basically? A list of maps is basically a format called JSON. Stands for JavaScript Object Notation. That's just a way in which we store information, and you'll see that a lot. Um, again, notice here the keys are unique, but this is a separate list from. I'm sorry, is a separate map. This map is se separate from this map. And therefore, we can use the same key, right? But if it was part of the same map, it's part of the same list, but part of a different map. And this is a list of separate maps. One map here, one map here, one map here. It just happens to conveniently be on, on three separate lines here, okay? So we have same keys, but these are different maps, so that's allowed. You just don't want to do it in the same map. You don't want to have the same keys. Okay, because again, if you try to access the value for a given key, if you have a three right here and you have a three over here, how will you know which one to access, which value? Well, you don't. What actually ends up happening, let's just try that right here. What ends up happening is number one, um, you cannot, um, it'll give a warning. But if you actually go ahead and do this, what it'll say is it'll hit this one. Oh, I thought that it was going to hit the first one, but I guess it hits the last one, actually. And we'll try this also. Yeah, it accesses the value of the last one itself. Okay. Let's restore some of these. There we go. A uh, few other things. I think that was most of it itself with, with um, talking about maps. So we went over what a map is. It's basically it's a, a a specialized almost a list, but you use it get the information of a value by um accessing it using a key. Oh, by the way, um remember a parameterized type. So what if I wanted a list of only integers? So let's just delete all of this and let's just say what I wanted is one Hi. Two. By. Three. How are you? Okay, so we have all of these, and what this would be. What this would be, it's I want all keys to be integers, every single one. But I don't have to do that, right? I could always put true. I could put a bool here and put 3.2, right? So here, if I want to do a parameterized type, I would do these characters, and I would say int, comma, string. Why don't I do int, colon, string? I don't exactly know, but that's that's just the syntax. That's just the way it is, okay? So now it's giving me an error. Wait a minute. This is not following the rules you set it up, set across for it to be, right? So this is actually wrong. It's giving you a warning. Don't do that. Same rules apply as before. Hang on a second. If I wanted to put that over on this side, same rules apply also. Um, true 4.33. It'll give you the same problem here as well. Again, it'll still run, but at the same time, it'll give you that warning right there. Okay? So I think that's it for maps. We'll keep on moving from here on. Thanks a lot.